Hi everyone, I'm gonna show you how to make this cute newborn hat with a big bow. I am a labor and delivery and mother baby nurse and I find that my patients absolutely love these cute little hats and they really appreciate them. And I'm also gonna show you how to make this cute headband with a big bow. Again, the moms really love and appreciate this one too. Let's go over the baby hat first. So you're gonna take two hats. The first hat, you're gonna adjust it according to how big the baby's head is. After adjusting the hat, you're gonna put that aside. And then the second hat is just gonna be designated for the bow. I love a big bow. And after doing this, I would honestly probably not even have cut this, but you can cut it accordingly. I don't cut it any more than this because the bow gets smaller the more you cut, obviously. If you do decide to cut it, you're going to tuck these ends in because you don't want that fringe showing. That I think that absolutely ruins it if it has a fringe. I like how it looks clean when you fold it in. Okay, so you put that aside and then you grab the hat and then you're gonna cut two little slits in the hat to where you're going to put the bow. And honestly, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is not a thing to be a perfectionist about. And just cut a small slit. You can always go bigger, so you don't wanna cut too much. These holes should be tight. So you don't wanna make the mistake of cutting these slits too big because once you cut them, you obviously can't take it back. But if you start off with small slits, you can always make them bigger. So now you take your second piece, that's going to be the bow. And remember, make sure those fringes are tucked in because you want it to look nice and clean. And you're going to essentially just shove it in these holes. If you make one of these for the first time, you might think your hole is not big enough, but trust me, it is. Like even if you just get a little piece of fabric and you're able to pull it through, it will go. It just takes time. And again, you just, you want it tight. So before you attempt to try to cut the hole bigger, just try to pull the fabric through little by little. And then you wanna adjust the bow so it looks pretty even on both sides. And this is what you end up with, a really cute baby hat with a bow. And like I said, I typically probably just wouldn't even cut it to make the bow even bigger. Now let's move on to the headband with the bow. This is really cute. For purposes of trying not to waste, I'm just going to refurbish this hat that I just made and show you how to do the headband with the bow. So again, you are gonna utilize two hats. And with the second hat, you're gonna cut it. And like I said, this won't be here because I'm just reusing the other hat so I'm not wasting. And you wanna keep the bottom side where it is together, you know, it's not fringed. And on the other side, you're gonna fold it in. So it's gonna be folded in on top of each other. And when you cut the holes and put the bow in this headband, it's gonna stay together and there won't be any fringes. It's gonna be smooth on both sides, which again, I love that look. So when you cut the holes on this headband, they definitely don't have to be right in the center. And it's the exact same thing. You wanna cut holes as small as possible and you can always make it bigger. Don't make them too big at first. This is one of those things where you're gonna trust the process and follow the steps because right now it feels a little sloppy and it's like, what is this gonna turn into? But I promise you it turns out really cute. So it's the same process. You're going to shove this fabric through little by little to make the bow. Is this little headband with a bow functional? No, it's not. It's just for looks. And like I said, moms really appreciate it when you make them and they take pictures with their babies on them and it looks so cute. I am trusting this process and I know it's gonna turn out good. When I flip this over, you'll see that there are holes, but this won't be on yours because you're gonna use a new hat, not one that has already been cut on. Adjust the bow to how you would like it and there you have it. It's super cute. Okay, I'm gonna model it on a water bottle. See, pretend this is baby's head. I have more baby hat tricks up my sleeve, so stay tuned and I'll make more. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.